Hi everyone, it's Desiree. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me for another video. Today I'm going to be decorating the pages in my classic happy planner for the week of November 8th through the 14th. I actually um, plan on doing a fall spread and it's going to be like a little scene on the bottom, which I love doing little scenes. Um, and I actually got this idea from one of my patrons on Patreon. She had an amazing spread with like featuring Mickey and then some of the planning thing stickers. Um, so I'm going to, I'm taking inspiration from that spread and, um, I will make sure to link Vicky who is who I got the inspiration from her, um, uh, her Instagram on down in the description. So that way you can check it out for yourself. She's just a planner thing on Instagram, but yeah, it came out so cute and I loved how it turned out. So yeah, I'm definitely taking inspiration from that spread to create my spread today. So like I mentioned, I'm going to do like Mickey and Minnie, which I haven't done. I can't remember the last time I did a Mickey and Minnie in my classic, um, but I'm going to take this Planny Thing sticker book, which I have a bunch of pumpkins in here. I think I'm going to use these pumpkins, at least the ones that are like I can put like laying on the ground. And then I have a, a few sticker books I'm going to pull from. Um, this one for all seasons. Because I have... Oh, I have these pumpkins. Maybe I'll use these instead. I have some trees in here. I have... Is this the fall? Oh yes, this page right here. I already took some stickers out. Um, but this was one of the things that she did in her spread. She had like this really cute truck with Mickey next to it. And I really like that. Oh, I have some trees here. I could probably finish off these trees from this page. And of course, I have the Mickey and Minnie stickers, um, which is from this book. So I have these. And then I'll probably use the rose gold mini stickers here. Those are really cute. And then I tend to put like scrapbook paper on the bottom and I actually got a huge pad of scrapbook paper at Joann's. It's ginormous. It has 180 sheets, but yeah, it's super thick. It's got um, a ton of patterns and I think three sheets of each pattern, which is really nice. And I think I think I paid $24 for this, but I don't know if that was like a sale price or if that was a regular price, but I plan on, um, I've been meaning to change my cover for like a fall theme. And I really like like this pattern or this pattern. I haven't decided yet. I think I might use some of this paper, but I'm going to use this paper in, in this spread. I think I can find some. Ooh, that one's cute. Yeah, there's a ton of cute, just autumn, fall themed paper in here. This is from Park Lane. I actually haven't used the Park Lane paper, but yeah, this one's really pretty. Okay, so I have a ton of stuff that I'm going to be incorporating into this spread. All right, so I'm going to get these pages out of the planner and I already have some wax paper. I already pulled some stickers. Oh, and I'll probably pull in some boxes too. Um, but yeah, that's that's the idea for this spread. Okay, so I found two paper. I usually like to um, combine two scrapbook papers together and layer them. So I found these two, which are just like leaves, and then this one has like more scattered leaves with some little acorns. So I really like these two. They're very fall. I mean, this whole paper pad is fall, but I feel like these are really nice. So I'm going to layer them this way on top of each other. So I get a little bit of the orange on top. Um, I'm going to trim this down because this is way too thick, but I think I'm going to glue them down first and then I will trim it to fit. Um, but I just wanted to show you which ones I'm going to pick um, and then glue these down because I still haven't purchased <laughs> any adhesive. Or like Tombow stuff. Okay. Yeah. Put the glue. It'll work. 
So yeah, I'm just going to glue this down on the bottom. Actually, I'm going to raise it up just a little bit. Actually, I could tear it if I need to on the top. Okay. I'm gonna let that dry and it doesn't, I don't think it'll take too long. And then um, I'm gonna trim it down to fit. But yeah, I plan on putting this over here and then layering this truck. I think I might put the truck on this side actually. So I have more space. But I could put her over here with some pumpkins. So let me get the pumpkins. Oh, and I wanted to show you guys, um, since I started my Patreon, uh, what the top tier for right now is uh, called a big patron. And that one, I'm doing like two exclusive sticker sheets. I'm actually making them. I've never made stickers before, uh, but my sister drew the artwork and, and then I've been printing the stickers and like cutting them. I got a Cricut. And I'm just so happy with how they turned out. I mean, they're not perfect yet, but um, they're pretty good for my first attempt. But I just wanted to show you what we came up with. So I have these like cute little trees. Since I love making scenes, I definitely had to do like a scene type one for um, like a holiday one, like winter or Christmas. But yeah, it came out so cute. I love the pastels, the gingerbreads. Um, I just wanted to share that because I thought it was so, so cute. So um, if you join my top tier right now, you'll get these exclusive stickers, which is super exciting. Um, the other tiers are really good too, if you want to check them out. But I'll link that down in the description. I just wanted to put it out there. Um, yeah, because I'm super happy with how they turned out. But yeah, I'm going to cut this. get a pen and trim this okay I'm gonna trim this where I marked it so it'll fit in that section right here oh and I'm gonna trim it down a little bit more because it's too thick I'm just gonna eyeball it. Okay, and then I'm gonna see how this looks. If I put her in the middle. I feel like that's a good amount. I might trim it down just a little bit more, but for now I'm going to grab the pumpkin stickers. Which have these from the all season sticker book which I want to say is still available. Is it? Possibly. I'll have plenty of things linked to it down in the description too, um, if you want to check it out. Okay. I got this one. Oh yeah, I can like kind of scatter them around. The only thing is everything's clear, but I actually don't mind seeing it through and you can still see it. So I think it should be fine. I think this might be a little bit better because it's darker. Okay, so I like that. I'm just going to trim this down just a little bit more. I don't need that much of it. Right there. I think that's a good size. So I'm going to tape that down. I say tape, but I mean glue. <laughs> I'm gonna glue it down. Just use the same tape. Okay. So glue this here. Okay. Oops. Then I'm gonna add mini. I think I'm just gonna put her right in the middle. Dropping everything. And then 
I'm gonna have an orange. What's the other orange? I have this little one too. I don't think the white one's gonna work. I want to add a blue or this blue green green one. It's kind of hard to see because the stickers are really glossy. Um, and my ring light is super bright. But in person, it looks really good. Um, it looks cute. I can kind of get it. There you go. Like that. There you go. You can see it. You can see it better. Okay, that works. That looks super cute like that. I mean, I kind of covered my background a little bit, so you can't really see it as much, but that's fine. I think that works. Cute. All right. And then next, I'm going to... Oh, I think I might put some washi down, too. I think I'm gonna do this washi because I feel like this is a good one to add with um, like fall spreads. Looks really nice. I'm just gonna rip it a little bit and then I'm just gonna take another piece of washi because this one has like a backing on it and sometimes it's hard to take it off. So I normally put like a washi on top and then I'll just peel it off. It's just easy to get that backing off to do it that way. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do this. It's a lot of pattern. I like that. I probably should have gone all the way to the end, but eh, I should be fine. Okay, cute. I like that. So I'm just gonna do the same thing over here. I'm just going to actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Because I kind of don't like that. I have so much going on over here. Before I move on to the other side, I'm just going to put one. I feel like it was too symmetrical. I'm just going to put it closer to this one. Okay. I think that's a little bit better. It's not as like so much. Oh, and I forgot the trees. I completely forgot about the trees. the trees too okay i'm gonna try to figure out the trees because i have a bunch of trees hmm. okay i'll have to figure those out for now i'm just going to go to this side and i'm gonna just do the little layering on the bottom okay. so i taped this or glued it down and then i'm just gonna put this little truck well it's not really little but the truck there and I got the Mickey over here propped up against this car like so and then I have a pumpkin I do want to add the trees though You know what, maybe I'll just do pumpkin since I don't really have very much room over there. I think I'm gonna, I'll leave the trees for another spread, but I'll just put the pumpkins because I do like the way the pumpkins look. Oh, and then I do want to do the washi because I do like that layered look. It's like a triple layered um, bottom section. Okay, so I'm just gonna rip this. Slushy again. I know it might seem like a hassle having to take that washi off like that, but I actually really like that it has a backing because I usually rip these um, pieces and 
they tend to get messed up and I don't use the remaining piece, but now I have this, I can still use this. It's still perfectly good. So yeah, even though it's a little bit more work, it's, it's better in my opinion for what I do. I might change that one over there too, just so it goes all the way across the page because I do like the way that looks. Um, let me actually look in this one. This one has pumpkins, I think. I might have different pumpkins. Did it? Oh, yeah, I did. Okay. Mm, okay, these are kind of similar though. I was trying to find a color like this, but I guess that's going to be like my only pop of color. Well, like really bright color. Aside from the orange. Hmm. That's okay. Grab this one. I think for now, after I change this, I'm going to focus on the top section. And yeah, let's focus on like getting some functional things on the spread after I put this down here. Okay, so I'm going to put down some boxes. I have these brown boxes, which I think go somewhat with this spread. I don't know. I'm kind of thrown off by all the colors, so especially that one. I don't know. Maybe I should just change this to the white one. I might do that because that color's throwing me off um, since I don't have it anywhere else. Actually, let me see if that'll work because I feel like if I do that, then... The brown won't look like, I don't know, I feel like it'll look better. Okay, I think that works a lot better <laughs> now that I have that, like, white car instead of that bright blue one. I love that color of the other one. I just didn't think it worked with this spread. So now it feels more like, I, I think I like more of the browns. Yeah, the browns and the oranges together. Okay, so now I'm going to do the boxes, which I have here. I have these boxes. I'm gonna put this one down here for my sidebar to find something for up here. And then I have some of these. So I actually have a couple of bills due. Um, trying to think what else I need to note in this spread. I really don't know yet other than my bills that are due. So I'm just gonna put like stickers around the spread, but I feel like I need another color other than brown, because I don't want to just do brown. I don't know. But for now, that's what I have, so I'm just going to stick a couple of brown boxes around the spread. I could do brown and black. Yeah. Okay, so I have a bill due the 8th, 10th, 14th. I already have a box there, so I don't have to put anything else. Put one here, one here. Um, let me get some checklists, which I also have from JoJo's sticker books. And I could try the blackout. Saturday instead. Okay, the black doesn't look terrible with it, so that's good. Well, black goes with everything, so <laughs> it wouldn't have looked bad. So I think that works. 
And then I need like quotes and stuff though, because it's kind of boring. I'm just checking like how this looks because it's really hard to see it on camera. In person, it doesn't look like the glare isn't as bad. It's just that those stickers are really glossy. So just trying to take a look. I mean, maybe I should add the trees. I don't know. I'm still debating on the trees. <laughs> okay, so I need to find a quote. Some quotes. I'm going to put down some washi probably. I can add a couple of black boxes. I have black boxes here. Let's see. I want to this size. Oh my, I just have a ton of boxes over here. That's the only problem. Okay, put one on Wednesday because I have a couple things I want to know on Wednesday. Um, I just feel like it's super boxy. Okay, so I ended up moving this box, but I um, am trying to find some quotes and that pa those pad the pad of paper that I have um, has this sheet in there. And I thought this was really pretty. I'm not sure how this is gonna work out because the color is like, I don't even know what color that is. It's definitely not white. Um, so I don't know how it's gonna look once I cut these out. But I'm gonna try it because there's some cute ones that like say, let's stay home. And I like this color. The fall sweet fall is nice. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking these two would be good. So even the fall is in the air because it finally does feel well, like fall for here in San Diego, but yeah. So I think I'm just gonna cut these out and see how they work as like a quote type sticker that I can layer. So obviously I'm not gonna be able to cut these like perfectly because they have like, I like the way they look where it looks like it's been painted on there. Try to keep those little strokes. I'm just gonna cut around it. That doesn't look terrible. If I do that. Okay, let me cut this one out. See how this one looks. So let's stay home. So I'm like filming super late at night. So if I'm like kind of, out, I feel kind of out of it right now. So <laughs> I was busy like all day trying to figure out how to print those stickers. late on getting this stuff done. I mean, I kind of like that. It's different. I feel like I need to switch these around because I don't like that that color is kind of close to that one. Okay, I just need to find something for here. So I'm gonna glue these down. This is like my first, no, this isn't my first false spread. What am I talking about? I'm telling you, I'm out of it. I can't even think straight. Um, I thought this is my first false spread. Well, I haven't done a false spread in this planner in a while because I've been, was doing all um, Halloween spreads. 
And then last week I did a Miss Maker spread, which was like kind of random, but I wanted to use that sticker book. So that's why I did it. And I think that doesn't look terrible. It's very fall. And I think it's cute. I'm probably going to add some washi on top of it. I think I'll just do the grid washi though. Just to add a little something to it. I just like the way that looks layered on top. Okay, it's coming together. It looks really cute. I'm really happy with how it's looking actually. Okay, um, maybe another checklist. I could do some bullet points. I really don't want to do too much on the top of the spread because I don't like to make it too busy since I have all of this on the bottom already using up so much space on the bottom. And I don't want to take up too much space on the top because I really want to have that for plants. Um, but I do want to maybe add in um, some bullet points. Oh my gosh, I can't even think. And then a quote or something for over here. And then maybe I have like some little like small quotes. I'm not sure. Um, I need to find something for here though. And then let me see that checklist. If I can add a checklist. Okay, so this one. It's a great sticker book from Jojo. It has all of my favorite types of checklists in here. So I'm just gonna take this one, just do another one here on Thursday. And then I'm gonna do some bullet points, which this book has lots of bullet points as well. Right here, I have black ones, but I think Oh, there aren't any brown ones. Okay. So, do I want to do black? I kind of don't want to do black. Okay. There's no brown. Is there brown anywhere? I can't recall. I mean, I kind of like the way it looks as it is, though. It looks pretty. It's coming together. Um, but yeah, I'm going to find something for here. Okay, so I think I found a sticker. I have these tiny little sticker pads, which I actually started de-stashing these. This is one that I'm keeping, um, which is why I'm going to use it. But yeah, it kind of reminded me once I was going through my stuff that I had one of these um, to possibly pull a sticker from. And I actually found this one. It says Autumn Days Are Here Again. I think I'm just going to put it here. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of this lettering since it has... Um, like the regular print, then like a little scripty type of print. So I'm just going to add it here. I think it'll be cute and kind of go. We'll see. I think, it, yeah, I think it should be fine. Um, I did find another sticker though for here. So, um, in this all the season sticker book, there's, um, the page with all the pumpkins. I actually have one where it has like a basket of pumpkins. I think it's super adorable. So I think I'm going to add this instead of this one. That one's so cute. Like she's collecting pumpkins, I guess. So it should be next to that one. I wonder if I should find a mini that has like there's one maybe like an expression that'll look towards the basket I know I'm being like super picky but let me see if I have that I feel like I might I might have something like that oh no I don't think so she's pointing up I thought she was like pointing down and I was thinking of one should be fine okay cute 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 
All right, I do feel like I need a couple more things though. Um, maybe up here I need something. I just feel like over here it's kind of empty. And I kind of want a header for here. I actually have some really good headers. I got these from Pleasantly Planned. She has amazing stickers. If you love like florals, boxes. Um, actually she's just got some really cute seasonal stuff. So definitely check out Pleasantly Planned. I'll have it linked down in the description. I just love how simple these are. So yeah, these are my favorite type of font. I think I'm going to use one of these for over here. I guess I'll just do to do. These are clear. I think I might have to cut it though. Just down a little bit, but since it's clear, it doesn't matter how I cut it as long as I don't cut oops, the um the wording. Put this to do here. I just wanted something to label it. Actually, I should have used. Oops. Tweezers. I might do one over here just so I have that font on this side. So let me grab another one. I do remember. I could just put this on top. Oh my gosh, it looks so cute. I wasn't sure of this at first. I mean, the scene part I was super excited about, but the like other parts it was kind of like iffy about. But I'm really liking how it looks. I just still feel like I need something up here and then I'll be done. Okay, so I'm not finding anything that I want to add up there. So I don't know, I might find something during the week, but for now I'm going to leave it as it is like this. It looks really cute. Again, I like to keep this the busier portion of the spread when I do a little scene. So I think this is good because I have tons of space on the top, even though I took a lot of space um, to decorate on the bottom. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this. It looks so cute. I love how it turned out. So I'm gonna put this back in my planner. Yeah, it's super, super cute. Very different from last week, which is like a very bright, well, yeah, more colorful spread. And then this one has the fall theme on it. I love that I was able to use so much of that paper um, that it had these little like quote boxes. Those worked out very nicely. Um, but yeah, it's so cute. Thanks, Vicky, again for the inspiration because yeah, once I saw like that Mickey combo with the truck, I thought that was adorable. So I'm so happy I was able to recreate that spread in this in my planner. <laughs> Yeah, really, really cute. And I'll make sure to link, uh, link down in the description everything I used. Um, you can check out Vicky's Instagram. Um, if you want to check out my Patreon, that'll be down in the description too. Because again, I'm super excited about the stickers. My sister is the one who drew the stickers. And she's already coming up with next month's stickers. And they're super cute too. Um, but yeah, very excited. Very excited about all of this. So I hope you guys all enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, please hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see you guys all in the next one.